Welcome back. Pendleton Woolen Mills produces blankets that are often used for gifts, and in some cultures, they're given at a time of celebration or mourning. MTN's Victoria Hill introduces us to one Billings artist who grew up around the patterned blankets and now has the honor of having his own artwork on a Pendleton product. A style all his own, Billings artist Judd Thompson adds a pop of color and his own flair to Native American art. I take account um, the crow beadwork, how vibrant and bright it is, and that freedom, I guess, that you see in beadwork is also kind of in my art. That's why he was asked by Pendleton Woolen Mills to create a design for one of their world-famous wool blankets, a request that happened by chance. I went to um, the Denver market and we were sitting there at the Pendleton table and one of the reps, you know, just was small talking with me and said, uh, what are you doing now? And I said, I'm doing art in Billings, Montana out of a gallery there. So I turned my laptop around, showed him what I was doing, and he was intrigued enough to say, you should submit to Pendleton Blanket. After a year of gathering images of past artwork and preparing for presentation, he submitted 13 designs, and the one they picked was this. I wanted to do this really monotone, black and white um, version of the horse, and I did the silhouette of the horse running through this snow-covered field and it's real kind of dreamlike. But the dream almost came crashing down when he realized he had donated the painting to a local organization and didn't have the high definition photo Pendleton needed to create the blanket. But through some luck, it all worked out and he tracked down the painting. And so it was cool that um, I kind of you know, gave something away, and in a way, it really came back. His interest in art goes back to childhood. Growing up around Pendleton blankets sold at his parents' business, the Custer Battlefield Trading Post in Crow Agency. Because of the store, I constantly had artwork around me, and artists coming into the trading post selling right out of the back of their truck, and I, I thought that was so cool. Art has been his ticket around the world, but there is only one place he'll call home. You come back to Billings and you feel so lucky to have this place that's the biggest city in Montana, but still a very small town. And um, with that, I, I never felt like I needed to go anywhere else. So this is home. In Billings, Victoria Hill, MTN News.